Welcome to 52 Questions. I'm Shannon Weber, Director of Hive. Every year, Hive answers hundreds of questions from patients, their partners, and providers. And each week in 2018, we're bringing one of those frequently asked questions to you in video format. For this week's question, I've come to San Francisco City Clinic to talk with Dr. Oliver Bacon. And this week's question is, can I get HIV from oral sex? What do you say? Hi, Shannon. Hi, everyone. Um, can I get HIV from oral sex? Well, first we've got to think about what oral sex is. Mm -hmm. So let's start off by assuming that you are the mouth mm -hmm. and you're performing oral sex on one of three locations. It could be a penis, it could be a vagina, or it could be an anus. Mm -hmm. Okay? So let's start with the penis. So what do we know about HIV transmission um, from a penis to a mouth? We don't know that much, but it's the area that's been best studied of all those three locations. The studies come from um, uh, studies of men who have sex with men who have a lot of oral sex. Uh, and then the largest study that I'm aware of, the, the uh, HOT study, um, that was designed to look at the risk of HIV transmission from penis to mouth, there were no transmissions. Mm. So because there were no transmissions, they couldn't study any cofactors like what if you have sores in your mouth? What if you mm. have an STD in your mouth? What if you have um, dental disease? All those things that people have thought might increase the risk of HIV acquisition um, from performing oral sex on a penis, they couldn't study because there were no infections. Mm -hmm. So in terms of you know, well-conducted, rigorously conducted studies, the risk seems to be extremely low. We do know, however, that there are anecdotal cases in the medical literature. That means individual cases reported by doctors of people who, to the best of anyone's ability to know, own, their only risk of getting HIV was from performing oral sex on a PS, and they got HIV. So we think it is possible, but the number of those cases is very small and um, it's always hard to prove a negative, meaning it's hard to prove that there is absolutely no other way they could have gotten HIV. Mm -hmm. So bottom line, we think that the risk of getting HIV from oral sex is relatively low compared to other things, anal condomless anal sex, condomless vaginal sex, mm -hmm. things like that. Um, that being said, are there things that you might consider doing to reduce your risk, mm -hmm. um, maintain good dental hygiene, uh, make sure your teeth are healthy, your gums are healthy, any portal of infection, any potential portal of infection in your mouth, make sure it's healthy so you don't have bleeding gums, you don't have gum disease. Um, it's always, always a good idea to ask your partners what, if they know their HIV status. Um, and if they're uh, HIV positive, are they on antiretroviral therapy and if their viral load undetectable? Mm -hmm. Will that reduce the risk of acquiring HIV from performing oral sex? We don't know, but mm -hmm. it seems reasonable to think it might. Um, Quick follow-up question yeah. for you. You talked about the study um, with oral sex on a penis. Do you think that the data is any different if oral sex is on a vagina or a penis? I wish I knew the answer to that question. Mm. Um, I don't know of any large rigorously conducted studies that looked at risk of HIV transmission from a vagina to a mouth or from an anus to a mouth. Mm -hmm. we, know, uh, <clears throat> we know that HIV can live in vaginal secretions. We know that it can live in the anus and the rectum. Is there potential that it could be transmitted to someone's mouth? There is, but I don't know of any studies that actually looked at that, so we mm -hmm. can't really say. Um, I think most of us in the field suspect that the risk is very low, certainly in comparison to other ways that you could get HIV, such as condomless anal sex or condomless vaginal sex. Um, and just maybe one final like wrap-up question. If it's the morning after and I'm now worried. Right. What do you say to me? I'm asking you, yes, the morning after, and I'm just, the worry is coming up. Uh -huh. Can I get HIV from oral sex? What's your short answer? My short answer is we think that the risk is very, very low. Um, if you, uh, if you're very worried, 
we could discuss PEP or post-exposure prophylaxis. I think mo in most cases, most providers would not give PEP to someone mm -hmm. who had had oral sex, although there are certain circumstances in which they might. So if you had, if you performed oral sex on someone who has HIV, who is not on antiretroviral therapy, um, and presumably has a viral load that is in the transmissible mm -hmm. range, you might consider going on PEP. Mm -hmm. um, again, however, we think at least based on um, the small number of studies that we have, that the risk of uh, HIV transmission uh, during oral sex is low. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. All right. Thank you for joining us. Join us next week where we'll answer the question, where can I get PEP and how can I pay for it? Have a good week.